You may be familiar with cyanobacteria, sometimes called blue-green algae, as floating green masses in lakes and ponds. While tiny, these single-celled organisms are incredibly important. They transformed Earth's atmosphere 2.5 billion years ago by releasing breathable oxygen that sustains life as we know it, and they currently play a key role in the planet's oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen cycles. Now, for the first time, scientists at the SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory have captured the highest ever resolution images of single, living cyanobacteria using an X-ray laser. Produced from experiments at SLAC's LINAC Coherent Light Source, or LCLS, they represent the first time that images of living organisms have been taken using X-ray pulses. To obtain these images, scientists use a technique called X-ray diffraction. First, cyanobacteria in an aerosol form are placed into the path of an X-ray pulse from LCLS. The pulse collides with the bacterium, and the photons that make up the pulse scatter. With more common X-ray tools, radiation from an X-ray pulse will damage and destroy the bacterium before scientists can get a clear image. But because the pulse from LCLS is extremely short, the photons can outrun the damage and scatter before the bacterium is destroyed. Finally, the scattered photons are collected on a detector. Scientists can then use the pattern on the detector to reconstruct the image of the cell. These results pave the way for future high-resolution imaging of living organisms using X-rays. Scientists hope to use this technique to better resolve viruses and their internal structures, as well as active processes in bacterial cells, such as cell division, formation of internal structures, and more. So, thanks to the tiny, single-celled cyanobacteria and the ultra-fast X-rays of LCLS, Scientists are now better prepared to understand more about the world of the ultra-small.